Hey, what's up everybody? Josh coming to you live once again with a review of a barefoot shoe. Imagine that. Like you would never guess that for me. Um, I'm just kidding. So if you've seen any of my videos, that's pretty much all I do videos about is barefoot shoes. I have a bit of a shoe fetish for those of you that don't know me. I have tons of shoes. I'm a kind of a minimalist person by nature, a little bit Spartan in my decorating style, typically, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I do all sorts of things to, to, to minimize, you know, my impact on the world. But man, when it comes to shoes, I'm, I'm a, I'm a shoe hoarder. I'm a shoe fetish dude. I, I just like shoes. I, I don't know what to say. And um, so around uh, 2010, 2011, I started moving to barefoot shoes and I've been almost exclusively barefoot shoes since that time. It's 2021 today at the time of making this video. So that's 10 or 11 years now of wearing almost only barefoot shoes with one or two exceptions for a couple of reasons. Um, and Vivo Barefoot's one of the first shoes I went to at, and when I started. And I'm still, I still in love with the company. They're, they've been around a long time. They know what they're doing. They make everything well, perfect. Um, this today is the bare, uh, sorry, Vivo Barefoot Slide. So it's a slip-on uh, dress slash casual office uh, vibe shoe. Uh, dig it. I mean, they have different colors and stuff, but this is brown. And uh, the front part of the shoe is all like leather. Um, but then as you can see this part back, it blends right in, but this is like, I don't know, neoprene, some kind of soft flexi, uh, like a sock. It's just glorious. It's like, this is like, I mean, dude, this is like slippers that you get for Christmas. Okay. But it's an, a shoe, uh, that you can wear to the office, but it feels like the slipper and, and it's every bit as comfortable, like without exaggeration at all. Uh, slip on, slip off, no lacing, none of that nonsense, no tongues, no uh, weird things that are going to rub on your feet or anything else. All the barefoot keys, uh, zero drop from heel to toe, no slants, no heels, no weird stuff like that. Uh, on the inside, zero arch support, so your arch can maintain its strength and, or, or build it if you made the mistake like I did of the first three or four decades of my life wearing uh, regular shoes with arch supports, atrophying uh, wearing out, weakening my own arches, but now over the last decade, I've been able to build that strength back up to a natural strength the way your feet are supposed to be so that I can maintain long-term foot health, and you can too. So uh, zero drop, zero arch support, wide toe box. Look at that. So it's not a super pointy shoe, but it still has kind of a cool dress vibe. It's not going to look out of place in the office. It doesn't look like a clown shoe or some other uh, problems that some shoes have. Dude, it's just sleek, slick, smooth, comfortable, good looking, good feeling, uh, all of the above. Uh, got the roll up test, right? Oh, oops, I lost it there. Full on roll up. And again, that's this cloth there. So it just munches right up. Roll. Perfect. Ooh, it's like tucked in there. Look at that. Permanent. Boom. <laughs> and then you got the taco test sideways. You can scrunch it that way. You can twist it. You can turn it. You can crumble it up into a ball. Boom. But you're not going to want to get rid of these guys because these are dope. So smooth, uh, nice dress, I mean, dates, office, um, going to parties, looking smooth, jeans, khakis, whatever, these will do it for you. They're very flexible, not just uh, physically speaking, but in terms of style. So dig it, five stars out of five, Vivo Barefoot, hands down, gets my full back, backing um, and support and props. Do props. Thanks for everything you do, Vivo Barefoot. I appreciate you. And uh, so anyways, hit like, hit subscribe if you want to see reviews on a ton of other Barefoot shoes. Check them out. And until next time, we'll see you then.